Weekly Walk viewers, I am here with a familiar face, a familiar Weekly Walk face, Sean Fanning. I do this, make you do this one time a year. Yes. And it is to celebrate the launch of the Financial and Operating Benchmarks Report, which we're going to get into. But first and foremost, you recently transitioned to the dark side of the investment team. I did. After three years in the capital markets team, I, I made the transition. He is now our newest VP, so congrats on that. And most importantly, congrats on the fifth annual launch of the benchmarks, but you changed the name this year. Did. We now have a mouthful, which I'm gonna I'm gonna shorten to FOB for the sake of this weekly <laughs> walk. Like but like tell it. us what was formerly known as SAS Benchmarks Report. Tell us about it. Yeah, we well this year we really wanted to make a clear distinction in terms of what we were putting out there. Kyle on the team and Sam on the team have done a great job at going really specific on other benchmarks for usage-based pricing for product. And so, as folks come across this report, instead of just keeping it generic as SAS Benchmarks, we wanted to make it exceptionally obvious what they were clicking. <laughs> what it is? Reading. Yes, because SAS Benchmarks alone could be extremely broad. Yes. So you surveyed a lot of people. We did. So how many people did you come here to talk about? 600 responders this year from okay. across the globe uh, okay. and companies all the way from free product, free revenue up through public companies. And the other exciting thing is we have been doing it for five years. So we've been able to aggregate the data across all years. And now we've got thousands of data points awesome. to do some really interesting year over year comparisons. Okay. And that's quite the, that's quite the segment yes. of, of respondents yes. and data that you have. So I guess for this year, was there any, you know, particular thing that stood out to you that you were surprised by, not surprised by? In the results? Yeah, definitely. I think the one thing that we came across was just the bifurcation of, of capital distribution across public software companies. We're seeing it in the private markets too. And mm -hmm. so multiples have expanded. Everybody's talking about that. Yes. But if you segment those public companies by growth rate, what we found was the companies with the highest multiples generating the most interest from investors are those that are sharing a few characteristics, right? They're continuing to execute against really big addressable markets. Yep. They've got business models that enable rapid growth, like mm -hmm. product-like growth. Yes. And then unit economics today that suggests they'll have really big cash flows in the future. And so the flows of capital are not equally distributed. It's really the haves and the have-nots. And the haves are those with you know, the fastest growth rates. Yeah. Where can people find this report? Uh, on our website, on yeah. our blog. Okay. Uh, we used to have the URL sasbenchmarks.com. We're not using that one anymore. Okay, we're not. So uh, it's all across social as well. Yes. So anywhere open view is online. Okay, we've got an unhappy baby in the background. We hope, we hope this weekly walk makes her happier. Last question for you. Despite the beautiful weather today, we are approaching winter in New England. What are you most looking forward to about winter? What's your favorite winter activity? Skiing. I didn't get to ski in college because I was on the rowing team. That's so true. I, don't, I can get hurt now. I can break a leg. I'm sure my fiance would be too. Yeah, but. sorry, Emma. <laughs> All right, so skiing. My favorite winter activity is going south. Sean is spending it in the snow. So awesome. Check out the benchmarks report, and we'll see Sean's face this time next year yes. on the Weekly Walk. All right, Weekly Walkers, we'll see y'all soon. Bye, guys.